Hello guys, welcome to another deck profile. Today we present you the list that I made uh, first place last weekend. And yeah, let's go straight to it. Of course, if you see, it handles about uh, the Ritual Beast archetype and it's absolutely busted uh, with the Protoss engine and you can play Shifter, I think nothing to say, but uh, the only downside is uh, you have a really hard time against uh, Mulchamis, but uh, let's go. Of course, we play the best normal summon, Triple Kennehawk. I think nothing to say, absolutely broken. The second best normal summon is Rapengu. I think also nothing to say. And another card we play, Triple Lara. This card is absolutely busted. It comes uh, from a few sets ago. It comes a uh, new support for the Ritual Beast Arch type. And since that, since there, it's it's be a, basically a meta deck, I think tier two, and you have a really, really fun with the deck and uh, ulti cannon hawk is a, a absolutely busted card, you know that, and yeah, for the old school we play the elder, triple elder. That card is uh, gives you another normal summon and sometimes it turns awkward hands uh, to full combo when you have enough names but not the goods and yeah for the one-offs we play the Wen, Petalfin, Binder, Apelio and the Lara. That's it for the Ritual Beast monsters. For another monsters we play the Nemesis package, Protoss and the other ones. And for the non-engine of course we play Triple Shifter, best card. Triple Ash to stop the Mulchamis. Of course, we play also the Mulchamis. We play Triple Fuvalos and Double Purulia. We play another in the side. But I think for the main deck, that's enough. If you get Mulchami, you Mulchami back. The last uh, hand trap, we play Triple Impermanence. The card is busted. Nothing to say. And for the last uh, non-engine going second card that we play, we played Triple Book of Eclipse. That card can also be sometimes uh, a cross out when you get Imp or something, you can uh, turn uh, your monster uh, face down and you get the draw and your opponent doesn't get the draw in the end phase. That's important in your turn. And uh, for consistency, we also play the Triple Inheritance. I think nothing to say. Uh, we don't play uh, the Pot of Prosperity. I think it's not needed. And for the extender, we play Triple Etele. And the last one, the Trap. That card gives so well, so much uh, more to your end board. It's absolutely crazy. For the extra deck, we play the new one, the Double Nuccio Drago, Double Kennehawk, One Apelio. And one Gaia Paleo, I think that's standard. But what is not standard, we play also the Ulti Petalfin. I like to have uh, more targets uh, for the Rapengu. I think uh, uh, in the earlier tournaments I missed this card. And uh, but if you don't uh, want to play this card and you don't play uh, Petalfin, you can uh, change that for Baguska. Spoiler, we don't play Baguska. I think uh, it's a good card uh, under Mulchamis, but uh, I prefer this uh, over the over the Baguska. And in our locals, uh, not everybody can afford the Mulchamis, so it's not needed. For bigger tournaments, I think you can uh, consider to cut this uh, to the for the Baguska. For the last fusion, we play, of course, the Coloss. I think nothing to say. For the Link Monsters, we play, of course, Ritual Beast Ulti Raider Tari. That card is absolutely busted. Banishes a card, gives you another Novel Summon, and yeah, absolutely busted. Then we play the Ulti Kimo Fargos. For the last Ritual Beast card in our extra deck. And for another Links, we play, of course, the IP SP. Unicorn and the S Skull Talker to help uh, to break boards or OTK the opponent going second. And the last card, of course, to assist the Nemesis engine. 
I hope you enjoyed the deck profile. Like and subscribe for more Yu-Gi-Oh content. Or if you want to see more uh, combo combos from the deck, please uh, write in the comments.